Bawam, this is Har Wan by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, Ma'amah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, I want to go into some milk scriptures today. All right. I've been up all night writing precepts out. Uh, I got some heavy lessons to do uh, with the camp Yahweh Ratazah today and throughout this weekend. So I want to go into this uh, to deal with the basic mindset that we, that we should be in, you know, in the humbling and, uh, and what's a true, honorable mindset, okay, of being in this truth. Uh, matter of fact, I'm start with this one. All right. So now this is First Peter's. Two and one. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, see, all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. See, you got a lot of people that get into this truth. They become envious. They start speaking of uh, 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 guile, which is throwing hypocrisies into the truth and lies, bringing about damnable heresies. All right, saying that we're justified by the law. That's the point. You know, I don't want to go into that this weekend as well, y'all, right as I. But um, saying that all nations are going to be saved, so on and so on. Y'all know the, uh, the, the damn little her heresies that's been coming up. It says what? And hypocrisies, man. Saying that you have love for someone when you're really uh, uh, cursing them behind their back. Same way, uh, like, like the situation you see going on with uh, the one they call Deacon out there saying he loved Pastor Har as an elder but then at the same time he went on his page uh, Pastor Gabar went on his page last night and you can see it was nothing but slander slander enough to get somebody uh, sued too a defamation of character but like Pastor Gabar said man um, go not to the un you know to the law of the unjust so that way they be judged in the courts of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. It says, in all evil speakings, man, saying that calling the apostles rapists, you know, and people that teach the truth about the law. If somebody asks you, say, hey, what do you feel about rape? Well, according to the law and the scriptures in the ancient times, this is how it would go. But today, ask me how I feel about it, I ain't with it. But in the ancient times, there was a law in place for everything. That's just it. So if somebody call you a rapist because of that, they're bearing false witness, period. All right? And it shows their character. And it shows that they may they must uh, start again. You know, they have to be taught again. If, if one have need that you be taught again, that what, what were the first principles of your how about Shema was shy, man? You know, being a brother, coming into this thing, being brotherly so you can get the truth being humble because the one that woke you up to the truth that's the one that has begotten you in the truth just like Paul said I have begotten you in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai that's why he called Timothy his son in the truth alright so it says verse 2 as newborn babes see once you become a babe newborn being what refreshed alright being made new the Lord said, once you come into this truth and you step out and teach, you become a new, a new creature. Refreshed, man. And this is the refreshing. Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. All right? So don't bring in hypocrisies, guile, malice, envies, and evil speakings. Okay? Um... All right, so that's why the Lord say what? Study. You got to study, man. You got you got to pray for the Lord to deal with you. And he said he'll come in and sup with you, the spirit of truth, man. And the Lord said this also. All right, this is John 1 and uh, 7. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the light, the true light, which light of every man that cometh into the world. So who's that light? Yahweh Shai. We know that. 
All right, so he's that light. But check this out. The Lord said he's going to send his spirit forth and it's going to dwell within us. Behold, I, uh, Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. All right, so yeah, man, that's how you, that's how you know uh, who has the truth. Because they're going to be speaking the truth, man. Let me get this. All right, so he's that light that he said would come into you, right? Into a person if, he, if they start from what? The foundation and desire the sin, sincere milk of the word, which is the spirit of the light, spirit of truth. Isaiah 8 and 20. To, to the law, see, according to the law, when you're speaking about the law, you know, somebody's saying they're keeping it perfectly and they're not. You know, you do as they say, but not as they do. You know, um, to the law and to the testimony, man, and to the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The testimony is all. You got people out here teaching Sakari saying that you're not supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. You know, then they have to teach him with guns. Then they call apostles uh, rapists. You know, slandering them. And then you have, um, according to the law, they're saying they're keeping it perfect when it's impossible to keep it perfect, man. Okay, that, that's more heresies and uh, hypocrisy. So to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. See, Yahweh is not in them. It's not dwelling with them. It is what it is, man. People hate you for it, but um, the scriptures say what? Judge spirit by the spirit. All right, the spirit of truth, man, the spirit of light, according to the law and to the testimony. They want to go to the law? Well, you check the law, see if they're keeping everything, and it's impossible. All right. It's impossible to keep it perfect and stand in the faith in front of Yahweh someday and say, I did it perfectly. I did everything perfect. And he's going to say, no, you didn't. You messed up right here. You messed up right here. So you're imperfect. I got to hold you accountable to it. You're destroyed now. That's just it. But going through Yahweh Shai, we're justified. And we have a chance to be made perfect to keep the law, to keep the law perfect in the kingdom. By his power. You see what I mean? I'm not saying I did it. By his power and his will, we're going to do it perfectly. But we keep you keep the law to the best of your ability. And it's supposed to be your lifestyle. All right, that's for another topic. But to the law and to the testimony of Yahweh Shai. If they speak not according to this word, it's because Yahweh Shai didn't come in and sup with them. There is no light in them. You see that? He said, I will come into them. The light. The true light. All right. So 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh. That's the point, man. Being approved unto the Most High. According to the law and to the testimony. Right? Your doctrine. You got to seek to be approved to him. And he said what? He said, uh, John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh. And now is, see, we're in that time now, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And you're going to do that through your house, y'all. All right, he's the doorway. For the Father seeketh such to worship him, man. He's seeking it. Forget what you feel. Forget what people feeling out there. Nah, man, it's what it is, you know. Taking things out of context, people speaking out of context, don't care. It's like it's just back and forth uh, rhetoric. But the doctrine is what matters. It's all about the Most High, His doctrine, the truth. All right, the truth is always going to stand the test of time. Thus, we have the elders, <laughs> apostles, <laughs> standing the test of time. All right, and a lot of us. So now, um, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship him in spirit and in truth right now you got a lot of people out there you know uh doing things not according to the law but at the same time they're saying they're keeping it perfect that's a lie that's not according to the spirit of truth all right and to say that uh 
some of the disciples were going off. But then when you read the scripture, you see that they're clearly not going off. And it's like, yo, who are these dudes, man? Wearing baseball caps or uh, uh, hats with um, their brand on it while they're teaching. Making a brand out of their, uh, their ministry. Man, listen here, John. So this is why the Lord said, try every spirit by the spirit, man. And use the spirit of discernment. All right, measure, measure the temple. See if any people add up to what they what they're saying, man. All right. So, Second Timothy two and fifteen: Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman doing his work. This is the work. All right. Keeping the laws is not the work. That's supposed to be your lifestyle, or who you are as an individual. You're not supposed to eat pork. It's just who you're supposed to be. You know, Lord Yahweh Shah is not the minister of sin. Neither are we to be. So we're not going to tell people not to keep the law, but we ain't going to sit here and boast and saying, hey, we're justified by keeping the law. No. You know, but you don't want to be wicked and, and eating pork, having sex with your woman on Sab uh, uh, Sabbath and what's that, menstrual cycle and having sex with other men's wives. And you don't want to do all that while just claiming to be in the truth. But it's just common sense, man. It's supposed to be your lifestyle, man. A child of the Most High, to the best of your ability. All right, because um, scriptures say even a just man fall up seven times, but he get back up. Rightly dividing the word of truth, so you got to rightly divide this word, man. Other than that, the light is not dwelling with them. The, the spirit of truth. You can read the scriptures all you want, but the spirit got to be in you and dealing with you, supping with you. For you, for you to, uh, a person to have eyes to see, have that eye salve, the oil. This is uh, Revelations 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, man. So this this word, this work, is, is gold tried in the fire. This truth, man. All right. And that's why he said, uh, go to them that buy and sell. People that believe and the ones that don't believe. All right. That's looking for this word. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. That don't mean go out here trying to sell the scriptures to people. The Lord said his word was freely given, so freely give it. All right. We're supposed to pay with our life, right? you know. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. That thou mayest be rich. And what in white raiment, man, I mean, uh, made righteous. All right. That thou mayest be clothed. Other than that, we, we be uh, un, unclothed, uncovered. You know? If you're not covered under Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that the that the shame of thy nakedness do it not appear. All right. Cause you can claim you're keeping the laws all you want to the best, you know, that's why we say to the best of our ability, we try our best. And he said, uh, do you have but a little strength? That's all you care about. How wish I got us, man. He already paid the price on, you know, on the cross. But, uh, though we have freedom, should we use that as a cloak of maliciousness? No. You know, but our covering is who? Our cloak is Yahweh Shai, all right, to, to uh, take away our nakedness, our shame. And anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see, man. So our eyes, meaning your mind, that you may see. Other than that, we wouldn't be able to understand the scriptures. Romans 11 and 7. All right. But the Lord, and also, um, that's, that's why people um, are doing these things, man. Bringing in hypocrisies and uh, heresies and lies. Matthew 13 and uh, 14. Oh, so like I start from uh, uh, 11. Uh, 
you know, 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables, right? This word is written in mystery. So beautiful, right? That's the sift. And it takes the spirit to be able to unlock the code. You know, spirit got to be dealing with you to understand this uh, parables. Okay, what they say or feel about it, they get all boastful and prideful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do what they want. Mm -hmm. All that bullshit, that's, a, that's a, a charade. That's an act. You know, that's a character. But the truth is the truth, man. It is what it is. He answered and said unto me, unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. So it got to be predestined. It's already in the elect. You know, the Lord going to anoint their eyes with eyes salve to see. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. All right, the truth, the more, more spirit of understanding all into the kingdom. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken even that which he hath, man. That's why we pray to the Lord. This is uh, Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, man. So we're praying for the Lord to not cast us away from Yahweh's shot. All right, from, from Yahweh's presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Man, you know? And that's what happened with these camps, these, these uh, false teachers. You see them start going off, and the Lord going to take even more spirit away from them if they don't fix it or repent. They stop going out and teaching, the Lord going to take the spirit from them. They start, stop, they start being unbrotherly toward brothers. The Lord ain't going to let you sit at the table so you can stab your brother with a fork. He invites you to the room, but he ain't going to let you sit down at his table. All right, so he's going he gonna to remove you from the uh, process. All right, he's not going to equip you with what you need. Because he know you ain't going to do the work correctly. Uh, lawfully. <laughs> you know, meaning uh, according to the rules. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit, man. Right, because he said the truth shall set you free. So we're praying for the Lord to uphold us. All the way to the end and beyond forever eternity you know with his with his free spirit man okay then will i teach transgressors thy ways right you're supposed to fix yourself first that's the first battle praying for the lord to correct yourself ourselves work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and we get the moat out of our own eye before we can get the moat out of our brother's eye Examine ourselves to see if we are in the faith. A lot of people not doing that. They're just talking shit. All right. Then will I teach the transgressors thy ways. Who is that? The Israelites that are transgressing the laws. And sinners shall be converted unto thee, man. And we were all sinners. And we're still being converted to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Not having to go get circumcised, we spiritually circumcised. See that? So you you know, you got some people that are not even circumcised physically, they still gonna be delivered. According to the law, they couldn't even take part in the Passover. That's what Paul was rebuking a lot of those Pharisees about. Now we got Yahweh Shai, the person doesn't have to be uh circumcised to be delivered. They're gonna get a new body. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these little semantic games, hypocrisies. People saying they're keeping the law perfect and da 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 da. Hey man, to each their own, but they're going to be judged according to that. You know, we say we're sinners, even if we keep it perfect. <laughs> if you think you're keeping it right, you still be like, I'm a sinner, Lord. Make me perfect. Make, like Tina Turner said, make me over, make me nice. And when I'm done, oh, I want to be right. That's what she said. So we're praying for the Lord to make us over. Now these vile bodies, man. Try your best, man. Yeah, I'm keeping new moon or just pass over. The, we, we, you could be two months behind or two months ahead. Don't even know it. You know, you go to people's house, they don't have the laws written on their front door. Like Apostle Hart said, they're not wearing phylacteries and so on and so on, man. They got t-shirts out there teaching. Long hair down to, down to the fucking crack of their ass and shit like like women do 
Man not supposed to have long hair. That's an Edomite custom. All right. So yeah, man. Um, there you go. Matthew 13 and 12. This is where we were just at. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken even that which he hath, man. All right, that's why the spirit being taken from these brothers. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Lord took their eyes salve away from them, put scales upon their eyes. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, man. All right, so it's complex, man. The reason why the Lord is taking the spirit away from these people. We just got to pray for the Lord to uphold us, you know, until the end and beyond. For this people's heart is waxed gross, man. They're wicked and their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them, man. All right, because you got a lot of people that's sinners that are converting that turning back the correct way. But the other ones, they're not trying to do it right. They, uh, the Lord said, I am the door, the way, and the truth, and the light. Nobody come to the Father except through me. So somebody said, I ain't going to worship Jehovah Shai. Uh, I'm keeping the law perfectly. You're denouncing everything he uh, sacrificed, man, for. Jehovah Shai looking like, what? You keeping what perfect? Motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, man. I wish I was probably pissed, man. Mad. Because he know for a fact we ain't perfect. We ain't keeping nothing perfect, man. He kept it perfectly. He died for our sins. He know how wicked we are. Or could be as, as humans. You know? So even Paul said it, man. Those things that are behind me, I count as dung. Everything he did, all the, he was a Pharisee of Pharisees, keeping the law perfect. You know, I didn't even want to talk about this shit, but uh, with uh, Sakari, but hey, the spirit got me going. There. It is what it is. But um, yeah, man, Paul said it. I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. Everything I count that I've done, keeping the law perfectly, uh, I counted as dung, man. All right, for the high, for to attain unto the high calling of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, to be honored. All right, and now that's what it means to what. But the Lord said here, "Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear." So that's the point. You've been blessed with the eye salve, if you can understand. All right, so Second Timothy two and fifteen, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. See, being covered. Not being naked. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That's the point. Speaking this word correctly, man. Rightly dividing it. Let me get this real quick. All right. So, I say here, man. Um, First Thessalonians 4 and, and 7. All right. But as touching brotherly love, ye, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of Yahweh to love one another. See, if the Spirit really dwelling in you, you know, you have true love for one another. Not saying, hey, man, I got love for Apostle Ha. But at the same time, you look on their page and they got nothing but slander, calling them a rapist. Things that can get somebody locked up, man, or attacked or hurt or killed. All right. So somebody that he learned from him and say he's his elder. But he was slandering them, like completely slandering them, like lying on them too, calling them a rapist. That's like crossing the line. All right. So that's not love. Scriptures say this, man. All right. So you claim you got love for your brother. Um, but the spirit should be dealing with these brothers to teach them how to have love for the elders or for the Akim, you know, 
You're going to have disagreements, but I'm talking about the slander. Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill towards his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling the law of the law. Love is the fulfilling of the law. So they're not keeping that law. Sakari and them. They saying they got love for Apostle Har, but they're not showing true love because love working no ill towards his neighbor. And that's an ill thing to lie and the, in the uh, bear false witness according to the laws. All right. So they're not fulfilling that law because love is the fulfilling of the law. Sheesh, man. Proverbs 14 and 5. A false witness will not will not lie. Oh, it's like, it's like a faithful witness will not lie, man. So if you're faithful and a witness on this earth of your how about you, shy, you're not going to be down here lying on people and shit, saying it's cool to lie. That's a car and I'm saying. A faithful witness will not lie, man. You know? So, but a false witness will utter lies. Whew, so they're not a true witness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Instead, they're uttering lies. Okay? A, a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not. So if you're in that scorner spirit, envy, malice, hypocrisies. So you're going to seek wisdom, you're not going to find it. That's what we see them doing. They got a whole big camp. Scripture say, wide is the gate that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way. You know? There's going to be many there in that go, that, that, many that go there uh, at, that lead to destruction. So we ain't worrying about numbers. You know? As far as people, we worrying about the elect. All right, so a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth, man. So you say, hey, man, worship the Lord. Yep, no problem. Hey, man, uh, keeping the law perfectly. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I slipped up. I ain't keeping it perfect. You know, we're imperfect. How is y'all going to make us perfect? We're perfect in faith. That's what we want. All right, do you keep the laws? Yes. Do you keep them perfectly? Nah. If I go through it, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere you're going off. Man. You know. Yahweh Shai is the Shogun. He's the one. He's the king that conquered the flesh. Not us. All right. Through him, we conquer the flesh. But right now, we prophesy in part and we know in part. All right, this is First Thessalonians four and eleven. Oh, uh, so like it, but uh, four and nine. But as touching brotherly love, ye ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of Yahweh to love one another, if the Spirit dwelling in you, right? The light, and indeed ye do it toward all the brethren, which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. All right, so the Lord going to give more in the spirit to them brothers that are sincere. All right. But the ones that are not, the Lord going to take it away from them. As we commanded you that we that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without. That ye may have lack of nothing. All right. So verse 11. And that ye study to be quiet, that's the point, and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, man. All right, so yeah, man, don't be out here getting money from people because you all of a sudden got the word and you're teaching the Lord. Man, listen, this is the Lord's business, man. I, I don't believe in making money off of this, you know. You got some people, they might give alms to somebody, you know, but it ain't going to be like a consistent, hey, where my monthly payment at? You know what I'm saying? Subscribe here and pay monthly to get the word. You know, uh, buy my movie I'm coming out with for this truth. Buy my album for the truth. All that, man. Making merchandise of the people. This is the Lord's work, man. We're supposed to give them the word. Like, Paul, like Peter said, you know, that which I have, I give. And all I have to give is the Lord's name. That's it. And that's, that's better than choice rubies or anything that can be needed. You know, but you want to, um, 
you can pay alms like to the apostles, to the elders, you know, to where you, where you, um, you know, because these times everybody needs a little help. But now you ain't going to go to the scripture. Yeah, you supposed to give me money. <laughs> oh, man. Anybody become a leader and start getting money from people, man. Look at the churches today. It's nothing new under the sun. All right. It's just, it's just mad, it's madness, though. But the Lord said, what? Study to be quiet. Okay. Just watch what's going on with these weirdos out here. It says to be fond. The word study means to be fond of honor, to be fond of it. Studying honorable words from honorable uh, or prophets or the scriptures. Emulous, eager or earnest to do something, man. To, to what? Get to the kingdom. To be fond of honor, to be actuated by love of honor to strive earnestly make it one's aim man for a love of honor to strive to bring something to pass to be ambitious man we're striving that's what we're doing we're striving but the lord said what that you got to strive lawfully meaning according to the rules all right that he said meaning what believing in yahweh shai teaching correctly, the correct doctrine, keeping the laws to the best of your ability, so on and so on. All right? All of that goes together. Not boasting in the law. All right? So what do we want to bring to pass? Why? What are we searching for? What are we uh, fond of? What? John 5 and 39. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. All right. And ye will. Uh, so, so yeah. So the testimony of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but you got to speak according to the testimony and the law, the true light of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. If not, the light doesn't dwell in them. The Lord is not with them. That's the point. I don't care if they got a beard. I don't care if they acting tough. I don't care if there's a lot of them. The scriptures say that Ezekiel 37 stood upon their feet a great exceeding army. He's talking about Israelites. But they still got to have the breath in them, the light, the life, you know? Other than that, they're just an imposter, man. All right, I'll end it here, man. 2 Timothy 2 and 24. Because I wasn't planning on speaking on about them, but hey, it is what it is. Um, You know, just deal with the milk. 2 Timothy 2. 23 but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes and that's what they're dealing with a bunch of strife right now people teach people teaching for strife you know backbiting some people go out just in the spirit of contention other than that they wouldn't be out there you try to tell them hey go teach man they turn against you but the next thing you know you you, you stop dealing with them and they're like oh, i'm going out now yeah that's contention man you're only doing it for contention what about doing it in sincerity and truth, desiring a sincere milk, studying, sitting down, praying to the Lord for forgiveness, repentance, if you've been against your brethren, if you went against your elder, you know, and continuing in the faith as unto a, a, a faithful creator in the sight of Yahweh, that's the point, not becoming a damn nigga or a backbiter or a scoffer or a scorner or a slanderer or a hypocrite, you know. That's somebody that was offended. 24, and the servant of the Lord must strive. See, he was striving for the kingdom, right? For salvation, for perfection. All right, but be gentle uh, unto all men. All right, not beating the men's servants, meaning hurting them with words or physically. They ain't gonna talk shit to each other. They're gonna mock each other, but I'm talking about walking to punch them in the damn face. Yeah, that's what type of shit's carrying them do. Yeah, you gotta be able to punch somebody in the face. Scripture say that. Anyway. Um or to just come into this truth and think you got some type of power seat and you get on the screen and start slandering somebody that's been in the truth longer than you and nobody give a damn about it. You know, that's why the Lord say that. Don't people are gonna be dealt with as well. Even though it's taking time, they're gonna be dealt with. Alright? So they gotta be gentle to all man, because you never know who you're talking to. All right, and this ain't your truth; it's the Lord's truth. 
you know, people get in power seats or they get around great men and then they start talking shit. apt to teach so we got to be apt to teach man ready studying to show ourselves approved ready man you know and patient so being patient with each other somebody asks you a question on you know, i ain't answering that answer the damn question man who the hell are you you just showed a sign of impatience you know so yeah man as the lord said be patient and, and wait on him be still and know that he is your in all senses of the word patience long suffering, enduring, striving in his truth, striving with the brethren, not becoming a slanderer, picking apart things people say just so you can slander them. Yeah, Apostle Kabar, you said uh uh what do you say? Yeah, you said it was I said he came already and did everything. Is that true, Apostle? That's man you clearly can see that it was taken out of context. So we're not even going to go there with that one. So it's about being patient and meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, man. So that's what it's about. Not making this about your damn self. You know, you got to do calling yourself a gorilla. What does that got to do? <laughs> what does that got to do with anything? You got uh, Yohanna calling himself general. I mean, come on, man. Sheesh. All right, and meekness. Where's the meekness at? He said, "Sheep, your house has showed up uh, as a, as a lamb." You got these people calling themselves gorillas. And meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If if Yahweh peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that's what our goal is to get each one to reach one. And teach one to get them to acknowledge the truth. Acknowledge it, man. Stop fighting against it. You, you know, that, that's the goal. That's why we go back and forth, you know, with scriptures. But if we start to slander each other, you cross the line. You're losing the spirit. You're losing the oil. You start to lie and shit like that. But if you're going back and forth, scripture for scripture, for years, it doesn't matter. That's worth it because the truth going to come out of there eventually. And people get to choose a side, and that, that creates what? A sift. And that's what we want. All right. So, yeah, man. I um, hope this will edifying. Just something, some part of the thoughts that's on my mind, my spirit right now. After seeing all the debauchery that's going on, the debacle. And um, it's interesting, but it's, it's, a lot of it is um, hypocrisy on one side. You know, and then the other side, it's a lot of patience being shown and endurance. And striving from the apostles, you know, continuing um, to stick together and persevere and to fight back spiritually, you know, teaching us how to fight our battles spiritually. All right, so with that, I'm going to say uh, uh, Shalom.